Papa, time zero zero five one Zulu, wind two hundred yeah. zero at five, visibility one zero, visual approaches in use, landing and departing runways three four. All right, clutch Five, lights out. You have this information, Papa. Okay, we got Papa. All right. So the clutch light is out. Back on again. Sorry to turn back off. We're gonna bring the engine up to 75 percent. I do that with the throttle. Right over here. I bring the throttle up to 75%. I check my magnetos one at a time. I'm looking to make sure I get an RPM drop, which means one of the mags shut off, and the engine still runs smoothly. So both the magnetos are working. Carburetor heat. I pull it up. I make sure that the heat in the carburetor is going up. And it is. So I can put the carburetor heat off. And I check the sprag clutch by rolling off the throttle engine goes down faster than the rotor, so that's working. All right. Now I loosen all the frictions on the controls, because we're going to bring the helicopter up to flight speed, the rotor up to flying RPM, okay? Does it matter that the RPM are down? It's not at 75 anymore? No. Do I turn the governor on? And then I roll the throttle up. Governor takes over at 80. Governor's off. Governor's on. So the governor takes over the RPM and it controls it now. Keeps it right in the green for us. Now, we got a low rotor RPM system that sets off a warning if the rotor RPM goes down. So I force it down with the throttle. That's the warning system. So that's working. Frictions are off. Information, Papa. All right, so we got Papa. What's Papa? That's the uh, weather information that we listen to. Now we're going to call the control tower. And I'm going to get his permission to take off. Van Nuys Tower Helicopter 482 Sierra Hotel Rotor Effects. And we're looking for a Satakoy with Papa. Number 482 Sierra Hotel Van Nuys uh, Tower. Look for takeoff from taxi with Bravo and report a beam snag on the east side. Alrighty, uh, we're gonna go from uh, Bravo, and we're taking off 3-4, right? For two zero hotel is for a minute, so we're departing to the north, make a right 270, and then hold the beam stag on the east side. The wind is 3 zero zero eighty. Wilco for two Sierra Hotel. All right, so I'm gonna pick it up in the air right now. I pull this collective up. You can ride with me on the controls. Just don't lock up on them, all right? Okay. So we pick up this collective a little bit. We start making a little lift in the helicopter, little left pedal. All right. Get light on the skids. Helicopter starts moving around. We gotta make some control inputs to stop that. Okay. Now we're gonna taxi forward a little bit. Then I'm gonna use my anti-torque pedals to turn the helicopter. Not how we turn it in flight. It's how we turn it when we're taxiing. Right. to Bravo. Bravo taxi, what you mean? Yes. Pick the nose up a little bit to stop us. Use our pedals to turn. Nice helicopter, two Sierra Hotel on Bravo, ready to go. We're going to two Sierra Hotel, you clear for takeoff. Report a beam stag on the east side. We'll report a beam stag, two Sierra Hotel. Up to 44. Straight with the pedals. Uh, proceed. We get a little airspeed. A little forward. There we go. We got some airspeed. Now we're going to get up. And they want us to do a right 270. Right climbing 270. before we cross the runways. And we gotta be at 1.3 before we cross. Uh, Charlie, good evening. Medivac helicopter 253 with Charlie's uh, Duncan Reservoir. Discussing a base and arrival for the signature. Charlie 253 with 
Crew, see Charlie Valentine, Fire for now, make a full crew for arrival and report full crew to 101. 1300 feet, make 1.3. 101, snap, Charlie. Cutter 2 0 Tell cross over both runways and then you uh, proceed on South Dakota, it's proof. Uh, cross and now bounce out of court, 2 0 Hotel. All right. Okay, so you got that cyclic? I have the cyclic. All right. We're going to go right up this road, okay? Try to follow the pressure that I'm putting on it. Okay. A little bit of forward pressure. All right. Bring it over to the right a little bit. A little bit of forward pressure. Copy, Sue. Sue, Sue, Charlie, just continue inbound and report uh, two miles south of the field. We'll call two miles south. Got to keep some forward pressure on it. There you go. Beautiful. Let's move to the north side of the street. So we'll turn to the right a little bit. Beanie, we need a little bit of forward pressure, just a little bit. Now level the ship. There you go. And outbound we go. Alright, let's turn to the left a little bit. Out of three whiskey, Charlie, your base and arrival is approved. We're changing back to runways 1 6 now. And uh, you should have gone to signature. That's right, signature. Three whiskey, Charlie. Right of a helicopter through whiskey, Charlie, just continue about and get the field offset over Alpha. How further? Copy. Uh, we'll offset over Alpha when we get to the field. Three whiskey, Charlie. And 2 0 Hotel is going to turn to the northwest and we'll be inbound in a few minutes. Under 2 0 Hotel, right here, just report inbound. Report inbound 2 0, John. Let's turn to the right a little bit. So we roll the helicopter. There we go. That way you're not looking directly into that sun. Check. Cut it. And we'll go out that way a little bit. So this is about 500 feet. Can you north out of the kilo? No. This is, this is lower than that. So let's climb up a little bit. We bring in a little bit of power. Runway 1 6 right a kilo. For attitude, pitch for 60. Yeah. Now we're about 400 feet AGL. There's still an immense amount of tension in my right arm as, uh, and I believe they're the ones you're meeting. How do you relax that? <laughs> All mental. You just gotta tell yourself to relax it. The more familiar you get with it, you'll you'll get that way. So let's turn up this road. You know, you're resting it on your thigh. Try to grip it lightly. You know, don't try to grip it too hard. There you go. I call it the three finger grip. You know, two fingers and a thumb. There's no control input you're gonna put into this helicopter. Take your full fist and every ounce of strength in your arm to do it. There's no, there's no input that's going to take that. So, helicopter three whiskey, Charlie. It's, uh, you can hover taxi into signature at uh, this frequency and landing at your own risk. All right, let's turn to the left. Helicopter two Sierra Hotel, and we're turning inbound on the Satakoy for the northeast corner. Order two Sierra Hotel, Roger. Report. Balboa on the west side of the field. Balboa, two zero hotel. All right, let's get a little bit of speed up. Attention all air confirmation. Get back now, current one 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 zero at seven altimeter. Do we got to keep a, a nose down attitude in this helicopter because the rotor pulls us. That's where our thrust comes from. Right. Helicopter two zero hotel. Would you guys like to just go direct? Yeah, if I can get direct, that'd be great. Two Sierra Hotel. Or two Sierra Hotel, Roger. Just report about SAG on the west side, and I'll advise for crossing. We'll report SAG on the west side. Two Sierra Hotel. And we'll go right down this road. A little bit of forward pressure. To kilo, turn left, cross runway one six right, and then proceed straight ahead. Yeah. Did you loosen up that hand a little bit? No. I'm feeling it in my shoulder and uh, forearm. Ah. 
Motor 2 Sierra. I feel like I, I want to have it. Hang on one second. Sierra okay. Corner, clear to land. You have control. Bravo 1, winds 1107. All right, we're clear to land for 2 Sierra Hotel. You don't want to fly it anymore? No, I do. I just want to okay. adjust my arm. That's All it. right, that's did you get better. it? Yeah, that's much better. Down All right, there. good. Yeah, that's much better. Hey, yeah, you find a comfortable place. And trust me, after 20 hours or so, you, you won't be gripping it. You won't be... It won't be as tense. Right. How do you know when you're in crib? Just when the two strings are straight? Basically? Yeah, exactly. Like a little bit of right pedal right now. And we know we have a northerly wind, so it's kind of a crosswind current. Is that right? Yeah, it's definitely a crosswind. Is something I should be see, uh, sensing in the helicopter to know that? Not at 20 minutes, no. I mean, but by the time you get your license, you'll be picking that up. Yeah. No. Right now, you just got to kind of worry about keeping that nose that in the right spot. You know? Number eight, yeah. nine, tower, altimeter, One thing at a time. And we're not really blowing off a course, so whatever wind there is isn't really that much of a thing. But when we go to land, that will be different. Just stand by, it'll be about 30 seconds. Copy. You know, we don't, we're not having to make any wild correction angles for this, whatever wind we is that we got. What is the wind speed? Did, did, did the weather report say how? Yeah, when we took off it was 12. Okay. But I don't think it's 12 now because they just changed runways. And Van Nuys for 2 Sierra Hotel, did we switch back to 1-6? Oh, 2 Sierra Hotel affirmative, and you can proceed direct uh, one, wind 1007. Thanks a lot. Direct to Sierra Hotel. Winds are at seven now, so they died down and they changed direction. And he gave me direct to the ramp, which they almost never give us. All right. Did you just do right pedal because you lowered the, the power? Yeah. Lower collective, right pedal. Add collective, left pedal. Got it. Every single time. And it should become kind of mechanical. And right now we're bringing this nose up to slow it down. I want to slow the airspeed down. And I just set up a nice little approach right here. You know? I'm going to turn here like this. I'm going to slow it down a little bit more. I'm going to bring a little power in. Slow that rate of descent. And as we get down to the surface, and we get rid of that forward airspeed, all of a sudden the surface wind now starts raising havoc because we don't have the help of the vertical stabilizer anymore. We got to keep it straight with the rotor, with the uh, anti-torque rotor. And you notice we don't move this cyclone around a whole bunch, right? Right. right over our landing spot. We keep our helicopter kind of kind of straight. Just lower the power. On the ground we go. Neutralize the pedals and roll the speed out of the rotor. Down to about 75. I turn the governor off so it doesn't get carried away and put the frictions back on. And we let it cool down. Two minutes? Two minutes. And you can't let this thing move around, so everybody's got their own technique. I just keep my arm on it. Because if it flaps, you can bump the mass that way, too. You know, if this thing goes, feel that shaking like that? That's yeah. that rotor tilting. I just kind of put my arm on it, keep it straight. What'd you think? Love it. Go to home. You're, you're a big swing as well, pilot, right? Yeah. Said your preference.
is uh, rotary, though. Yeah. I like flying the helicopters much more than the fixed wings. Way more versatile. Temperature high? Is it normal? It's in the green, is it? Nah, that's 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 high. It's Ninety degrees. Out, so they run hot. I don't know what it's supposed to indicate, but that's about right. And we roll the throttle down, turn the clutch off. Do we still have high oil pressure and and cylinder temp? We wait 30 seconds, then we go ahead and uh, pull the fuel, and the engine will shut down. So go, you can go ahead and pull the push the push the knob on the top, and then pull it. Up. It's all part of the safety feature. Rotor break, break. Yeah, in 30 seconds. You can pull the rotor brake now.